HMNZS Takaha is one of two Anzac class frigates of the Royal New Zealand Navy. Takaha was commissioned in 1999. It is 109 metres long, a crew of 179, LM2500 gas turbine and two MTU cruise diesels controlled by a Siemens designed integrated platform management system. Well technology is, uh, has always been important throughout the ages, you know, whether it was the, the day of sail you know, through to the, the first ironclad warships. Uh, but increasingly today, you know, information superiority is uh, of uh, very uh, high importance to, to navies throughout the world. And for a, uh, a navy to be, to be relevant, you know, we've got to be at that technological uh, edge uh, in today's uh, contemporary maritime environment. So for Takaha and Tamana, uh, New Zealand Anzac frigates, um, we've delivered a uh, upgraded IPMS system. So we believe this is one of the first warships in the world which has got this technology. This basically uh, provides increased automation on the ship, as well as in integrating a battle damage control system, uh, closed circuit television, a pager system, and an integrated bridge monitoring system. DC priority, investigate the source of smoke. Yeah, the Siemens upgrades have, uh, have been a real step change for us in the way we operate uh, the, the Anzac frigate. In particular, uh, I've noticed over uh, my time in command that I've got greater awareness of uh, the, uh, the systems on board and that in turn has uh, allowed uh, my people uh, to generate uh, better maintenance routines and increased reliability uh, of the ship. In turn, uh, that means that uh, the New Zealand Navy has a, a frigate that is more available uh, for the operation that it's required to undertake. We're already seeing real dividends out of what we've done. Uh, going to unattended machinery space means that we're actually saving about 75 man hours a day, non-profitable watchkeeping time. So that really frees up those uh, technicians to do really what they wanted to do rather than just sit around watching screens. I think the whole integration and the ability to remotely operate to go almost anywhere in the ship and to actually understand what's going on on the ship is probably the biggest step forward. So we're one of the first navies to achieve unmanned spaces on a warship. It's really good for a navy as small as us. It makes us it means we're quite agile in the way we can adopt the new technology. Uh, and so the partnership between the Royal New Zealand Navy and Siemens has been really beneficial to us. The new software replaces uh, the old CNM system that was delivered from Build, uh, and it uses a very familiar HMI uh, from what we had, uh, and that's to help with the familiarity of the operators. Uh, so the screens look the same to them, it controls the same kit, um, but the, the actual network uh, is new. Now I want uh, boundary cooling on the forward bulkhead and three kilo. So traditionally on a frigate or a warship such as this, we would have to have a closed up watch. So we would have an engineer of the watch, a leading hand and an AB and they would be stuck down here in the MCR uh, for the duration of the watch, um, monitoring the systems and uh, making sure everything's running correctly. Uh, with the unmanned spaces, uh, the system does a lot of that for us, passing any alarms to us via a pager system. Uh, this allows the, the watch, who are still on watch, uh, the freedom to move from the space out to other areas of the ship. Smoke, 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 smoke in the 3 Juliet 1 machinery control room. Smoke in the 3 Juliet 1 machinery control room. Duty watch fire and party investigate. DC priority, investigate the source of smoke. IBO plot the initial smoke boundaries, doors and patches to 3 Juliet. The Siemens upgrades have been uh, really good for my, uh, my people on board. I mean, not only does it allow us to sort of focus in and target and uh, create better maintenance routines, which increases the reliability of the ship, but it also means that uh, some of my engineers and technicians, when we do get alongside to a, a, a port uh, where time off is uh, a highly valued and, uh, and rare resource, it gives them the maximum time off because we've been able to effectively uh, manage the uh, systems on board and maintain them uh, through the unmanned uh, machinery space uh, regime. It's quite important to understand uh, the characteristics of the maritime environment in which a Navy operates. And New Zealand is heavily uh, reliant on maritime trade. Uh, statistics show that 99% of our trade by volume and about 95% uh, of our trade by value uh, comes via the sea. And the Navy is a key government tool to ensure the, uh, the safeguard of those maritime trade routes, you know, free from any piracy or any uh, illegal activity in that environment.